everybody it's rainy again from bubbles bobbles and bows and i'm here to do another soaping video for you um hope everybody's having a good october um it's one of my favorite times of the year i love the way the air smells and the leaves change color it's just um, pumpkins and halloween and then thanksgiving and Christmas. i just love it it's my favorite time of the year um so today um, I am here to do a soap. Uh, it's from um, the scent. It's from Nature's Garden. It's called Black Magic. It is a fall, Halloween fallish kind of scent. Um, it's very uh, smoky scent. Um, let me just read you what the Nature's Garden says about the scent. Um, it says this fragrance by Nature's Garden is a magical blend of earthy sandalwood, lang lang, and a base notes of baby powder, patchouli, and vanilla. Um, so for all you patchouli lovers, I've had several requests for that scent, and I have I do have it on the Etsy site, but um, this scent has uh, you can really smell the patchouli in it. Um, anyway let's go ahead and get started um i'm going to first before i add my lye water um i i'm going to go ahead and add my additives um, because i don't want the scent to act wacky and um cause a problem uh with anything so um, i'm going to this is coconut milk that wonderful, wonderful coconut meal. So, and I'm just going to add that to, to the oils. Um, in my bucket, I have my uh, olive oil, my coconut oil, castor, sweet almond, um, and fair trade uh, palm oil. Um, so there that is. Also going to add a little bit of kaolin clay. And again, kaolin clay adds, you know, creaminess to the soap. It, it makes the, uh, it adds what they call slip. Um, it's, they use it a lot in um, shaving soaps and stuff. So um anyway i'm going to stick blend this a little bit just to break up some of the clumps and to mix up the coconut milk in there before i add my lye water <laughs> added all that and now I'm going to add my lye water and my lye water um, has been discounted a little bit for to um, factor in the coconut milk uh, whenever you add coconut milk um, or anything like that all that has to be taken from your water that you add to your soap um, if not again I, as I said in my previous videos you'll get uh, soap that has too much water and it sometimes won't harden or and it takes a very very long time to harden um, and all the water to evaporate if it does even set up like it should so all right, so I'm just going to stick blend this a little bit. Okay, now I'm only going to stick blend it until the point of emulsification. And I'll probably just use the... Um, I'm just going to probably use the spatulas to to mix in everything else because I want to have as much time as possible because I am going to do a swirl today um, 
and I'm going to go over those for you in just a sec. Uh, I'm going to do a three color swirl and I'll be using purple knee high, uh, grape knee high from Mad Oils. Um, I'm also going to be using Green Vibrance Mica and that is from Nature Soap, Nurture Soap. And I'm going to be using Neon Orange from Mad Oils as well. And for my base, the soap is going to be a pillowy gray color. Um, and I'm going to mix this swirl all into the, the pillowy gray. And that is from Mad Oils as well. And it's called Satin Gray Pillowcase. And I'm going to add some glitters and all that. Um, but as I get ready to do it, those glitters, I'll, I'll show you all that. So and I'm going to be doing some little embeds today. And these are little witches hats. Um, they're melt and pour soap. I've made those prior to the video. Um, and I'll be putting those on top. So, all right. So let's go ahead and split off some of our colorants here. And I'm going to save a little bit of it as well for the icing, the top of the soap. these up real good get all that colorant and I mix my colorant with a little bit of olive oil um, that I took from the base recipe again that's you you have to calculate your lye um, enough lye in your recipe to saponify is the word saponify all the oils um saponificate you know just to turn it into soap so you you don't want to use too much oil either um as well you know you don't want to use too much oil or water there are various uh soap calculators uh lye calculators that you can go online um brambleberry has one um nature's garden there's so many out there now I have a, uh, it's called Soap Calc, Soap Calc 3, I think it is, um, that I use. And I mean, it's, that is a very big program. Um, it has a lot of uh, other features besides the soap calculator. You can track your inventory and everything. And you, that's a purchase item as well. I've had that for quite some time. So, um, I think I'm going to just do, I'm just going to, I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to make my uh, piping separate, just a whole new recipe. It is, you know, I, my soap bars are so big already. Um, I have very large soap bars, so that's why I try to, I'm trying to get them down a little smaller, so a little more manageable for people, but... Anyway, people get more soap for their, their money, so. And again, you can go to my website, and you can, um, my Etsy shop, and you can see all the soaps that are made here, um, and purchase them as well. Um, we also have a YouTube, uh, YouTube, not a YouTube, I'm so sorry. We also have a Facebook page. Um, it is Bubbles, Bobbles, and Bows. Um, Twitter, we have it all. Um, we have all those accounts just to try to get our name out there and everything, and so everybody can see what we're doing. So I'm just gonna stick in this a little. Bit. <laughs> Just a little bit to get the color broken. 
it up a little bit. Now keep in mind, I still haven't added any of my scent yet. And I'm going to do that. I just, like I said, I want to make sure all my colorants are mixed in. I've been having a time lately with um, my soap doing wacky stuff. The little soap gremlins have been coming and giving me heck. But anyway, all right. So, all right, so we're going to add the scent now and pray that this does not do anything wacky. Okay, I'm just going to hand blend it for a few minutes. It smells really good. Smells really good. And and you know, this soap is is inspired by a trip that me and my sister and my nieces, we all went to Salem a few years ago um, for Halloween. And Salem, Massachusetts is the funnest Halloween town that you will ever I mean it's it is Halloween town they have Halloween all year long I mean not all year long gosh I'm really on a roll they have Halloween all month long of October they have all kinds of wonderful things to do um, people dress up um, there's all kinds of little uh, neat shops that you can go in um, and look around I mean, on Halloween, we went, there, there's a certain time that you have to go trick-or-treating. Um, they started it at like 5 or 6, I think it was. And then it's till like 10. But their people are dressed up. Adults are dressed up. People have little things set up in their garages, like dressed as skeletons, playing music. I mean, it is a big thing. It is, it is a wonderful thing. Uh, it's a wonderful experience if you can do it. Um, there's a lot of history stuff there. Um, as you know, and maybe you don't know, but Hocus Pocus was filmed there. Um, and that is like one of my favorite shows, Halloween shows. Um, it's pretty neat. The great, I mean, you can see all the... Um, you know where uh, the house was where Binks um, the cat you know that was turned into by the Sanderson sisters was turned into a cat um, and you see the school and you see where the big scene is where Bette Midler sings I put a spell on you um, that is there. You can tour it as well. Uh, I mean, it is pretty neat um, experience. Like I said, if you can, if you can go and do something like that, um, or if you even want to, but it's pretty neat um, thing. We enjoyed ourselves. There's, there's, and in the area, there's a, also like a lot of other little t attractions that you can go and see. Um, it's not just uh, about the Salem. I mean, it's got about the, the Salem trials. and I mean, it's just got a little bit of everything there. I mean, lots of good food. And it was, we really enjoyed ourselves. But that's why I am doing this soap. Um, because, you know, I have, we had such a good time there. So this is in memory of that kind of. But... shake it down a little bit and I'm going to just put some more of this on here I'm gonna try to get all this out of here I mean it's this scent is working pretty good I've used it in other things so I haven't had to worry about anything accelerating or anything like that but And it smells good. It smells it smells like a lot like patchouli to me. But 
you know, the Sanderson sisters in the movie Hocus Pocus, you know, they all have different colors um, of dresses. And I kind of was trying to tailor it to that because um, of the whole witchy theme, I guess. So... I'm trying to do the get all this out of here real good. I don't want all the the people that you know. I want people to have heart attack because I ain't scraping the bowls and stuff. But I can understand. You know, I'd normally do that. I get it all out of there. But I'm gonna use my little handy dandy tool here, and I'm just gonna kind of pull it up from the bottom a little bit and swirl it a little. This is actually this tool. My husband's a mechanic, and this is a tool that I didn't even know what it was. I just thought when I bought it, I thought it was just like kind of neat that I could use it for soap. But my husband says it's some sort of tool to do something with, and I have no idea what he said. I can't even remember. All you mechanics out there, I'm pretty sure you know what the heck that is. I don't know what it is. I'm a soap maker and I'm a nurse. That's what I told him. I don't know anything about any of that other. So, um, but anyway, this is the soap. Um, so far, I'm just going to shake it down a little bit. And can I know you can see it? Looking pretty. Um, so there's that, and I am just going to go make the icing now, and I'll be back shortly. I'll see you on a bit. Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm here to pop the top of the soap now. I did a uh, smoky gray and uh, white titanium dioxide. And um, I'm just going to pop a little bit on the top. I don't want it real t high top tonight. So, And I did a round one. And I popped a little bit because I want to make sure that it's setting up. And it's still a little soft, but I want to get this going, so hopefully it'll harden up as we go a little bit. And I'm kind of going to concentrate a little bit here. Okay. I'm not going to put some real high tops on here. I want it to kind of look like just some cloud cover when I put the hats on. So I kind of just want it where you can't really see the base part and you see these little tips that are coming up. Because so, I'm going to put the black little black hats on there. Okay. Like I said, my, my soaps are so tall. Anyway, I just want to get all this out of here. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's that. And. Let me get my little black hats here. Can I see? I hope you can see them. I usually have it marked here where I can see where to place these so the little my little embeds don't get cut. didn't do that this evening I just want it to kind of look like the hat is kind of just floating up there a little bit
And this makes um, 11 bars of soap. I'm hoping I got them over far enough where my little hats don't get cut. So, all right. And then I am going to use some mad um some glitter from mad micas or mad oils and it's joan jet black and i'm just gonna because what would um, um halloween magic soap be without a little bit of glitter so put a little bit on here on the hats make them glitter a little bit I just I just threw it all over me but that's okay you know or maybe I need a little glitter in my life a little more extra sparkle of course those that know me know that I'm can be too sparkly at times I guess but you know life is short y'all do what you love doing in life you know I, I'm a hospice nurse and so I have to deal with people sick people and you know they're they're on their way out of this earthly plane and anything they have taught me is to live life every day like it's your last day just like the song so you know there's enough evil and and ugliness in this world oh and i'm also going to add some purple rain from mad um micah's there's enough evilness and, and anger and all that in this world and you know just don't let it change you don't let it change who you are um, and if, that's what my patients have taught me uh, during my time with them is you know don't let this ugly awful world change who you are in the end um, love people even those that sometimes that don't even deserve it you know even those that deserve you know that are ugly to you just try to be kind to them I know that sounds kind of goofy and and all that but you know I do try to live my life according to that you know I need them as much as they need me so all right i'm just going to spritz this with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on the top and that is just to kind of hold the glitter in place so um of course i had to spritz the whole table here so um I, can y'all see it i hope you can see it it looks so pretty and so glittery let me kind of just move it up see so but anyway um that's it for tonight's soap making session i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope you learned something um like i said i'm still learning myself here uh of the youtube scene or whatever uh, i do a lot of research to learn about how to do better and equipment to use better and you know i just if i hope i help someone today a little bit and in um learning about the soap making process and like I said this is not a tutorial um, and I encourage everybody if they want to make soap you know they can send me questions you can um, post them in the comments below even and I'll answer them or you can message me and I can answer them um, there is no silly question uh, safety first is always um, you are working with life and caustic materials of course there's no lot left in the soap once it's been you know went through the process but again you know safety first but anyway you can always send me a question um post it down line post it down below and i'll answer it if i can um if not i can guide you to somebody who who can do that because you know i don't know everything so anyway i hope you all have enjoyed this little episode and if you like our video please like it and subscribe 
make sure to hit the little bell um, to be notified anytime we upload any new videos um, for this coming soap release and all the, the subscribers the new subscribers that come in um, will have their name entered into a contest and be drawn um, when during for this soap release of all the fall soaps that I've got on the channel already and also um, the ones that are coming up uh, you'll have your name in a drawing and you'll win a free bar of soap um, if you subscribe and you like it um, but anyway I hope you have a good night and I'll see y'all later bye bye